Hey y'all, it's Sandy with Little House on Nettery. Welcome to my home. If you are new here, I just wanted to welcome you. And if you are coming back to visit me again, thank you so much. Today, I am so excited to be doing another Decorate With Me for Christmas 2023 here at Little House on Metairie. We're going to be doing our main living room. I had already did the kids' family room area, which is where we hang out as a family, and it was so much fun. I like to keep it festive and kid-friendly in there. But in here, I like to do it a little bit more formal. Watch my videos before, I love gold tones. Gold tones and Christmas, I can incorporate my beautiful gold that I love to do so much. So that is what we're going to do today. We're gonna to do the mantle part one because I think it's gonna to take too long to do the rest of the room like usual. If you watch my videos before, so we'll do the mantle first and then I'll do part two where we will decorate the rest of our living room. I'm excited to take you guys along with me as I decorate our home for Christmas 2023. So let's get to decorating. I am so ready to start decorating this mantle. So last year I had did a church theme here and I want to do something similar with more collected churches. And I have this new mirror that is just gonna be a great backdrop to it. So I am so excited to get started. So if you are new here to Little House on Metairie, I keep this basic garland up on my mantle pretty much year round because to me it's such a great base to build off of and I'm able to add layers of garlands or different decor for each holiday. Specifically Christmas is another great opportunity to just build upon it. So I am putting some cedar uh, garlands of that last year I was able to find. I'm slowly trying to collect them because I've had these old garlands for years and that they're uh, just falling apart so it's really time to update but I'm going to continue using them until I'm able to get a good new collection. So each year I'm just going to start collecting more and more of them until I'm able to replace my old garlands. They have so many new different ones right now that just look so much uh, more realistic that I would love to switch over to but this is what I have so we're just going to make it work. So that's what I'm trying to do right here. I have two of them that I was able to uh, tie together with just some zip ties. And then I'm just kind of placing it over my old garland and wrapping it around with some uh, floral wire again, attaching it to the branches and then to the corner nails that I've had up here for years. So I know right now it looks like a hot mess. I'm just mainly just trying to secure the garland because it's pretty heavy because I'm adding two of them uh, together just to make it really full looking and hide the old garland underneath. So you see, I pretty much keep everything on my garlands as I tuck them away. And you'll notice when I start putting up my other garland throughout the room, I just pretty much uh, take it off and I don't take any of the picks off unless I need to redo them or just kind of update them or change out the lights. Because they were tucked away and smashed in a bin, I do take the time to fluff them out. Taking your time to fluff and rearrange uh, some of the greenery, it may just be a little time consuming, but it's a step you really don't want to miss. I try to take my time as I do this because I want it to look, again, like I said, as natural as possible. So it's really important, again, to not skip this step. So as you see, I kept these jewels on them. I have had these for at least 10 years. I absolutely love them. I have not grown tired of them. When the lights are on, it just sparkles and I love the gold tones in them. And to me, they're just so beautiful. And I wanna use them again this year. So I'm just tucking them back in their place, the ones that have fallen off the garland. Next, I'm gonna add back this little bell that I DIY'd last year. The bells were actually silver and I spray painted them this gold. And then I just added some little picks to the top. So I'm going to reuse it again right here on the corner of the uh, garland that's draping downwards. I wanna tie some ribbon again above the bells this year. So I'm going to just remake a, a little bow that I'm going to add on top of a bigger bow. 
and it just kind of got a little bit messed up so I'm just going to retie and make one really quick. This is the bigger bow that I had already made last year. It's just really simple. It's a two loop bow. So I'm just going to reattach that first and then I'm gonna add the little satin one that I just remade on top of it. I'm ready to add six of our family's stockings here to this side of the mantle. I bought these from Home Goods last year. we can't forget about our precious fur babies so i'm going to add two of their stockings to this side of the mantle i also purchase these from home goods now i'm going to hang this wreath from the mirror so the mirror was actually bought at kirkland's and i decided to go ahead and rehang the wreath that I bought from Walmart last year and I went ahead and kept the same ribbon that I hung it from so I'm just going to put it right back up where I had it last year this is the same ribbon that I attached to the side of the garland and made the larger bow and now I'm going to go get some more of the satin ribbon and make another smaller bow to attach to the top of this one I'm trying to mimic the side bow that I made to the garland To the top of the mantle i'm ready to add these two beautiful candle holders and white pillar candles that i bought from hobby lobby this year so i found these i actually had probably used some of the picks off of them for another project but i decided to go ahead and add them right here to the bottom of the ring before i add the pillar candle i think it's going to be really beautiful adding just a little bit of more greenery and some pine cones up here. first church that I am going to add here to the mantle is this beautiful white one that we bought from Hobby Lobby last year. Last year I added a beautiful sign up here that said, Oh come let us adore him. I'm not sure if I want to put another sign up here, but I wanted to try this joy one. It matches really well. I bought it from at home this year and I love the little manger scene, but I'm going to definitely add this second church and keep it up here. It's one that actually lights up when you open up the little back. You might recognize it from a local 
consignment shop with me this year for Christmas. I knew it would match really well uh, nestled up here with the other one. So if you watch my previous videos, I love to reuse pretty much anything and everything that I can. And these bushes were actually poinsettias. So I took them off to decorate with our tree a couple of years ago and I kept the stems. So I'm just gonna tuck them here. I love the beautiful green color that they uh, have and I think that they will match really well to hide any of the blocks and the risers that I don't want showing. Now I'm gonna just take a couple of these picks I bought from Hobby Lobby. I actually cut them, they were larger picks and I cut them into smaller pieces. And I'm just gonna add them up here just to continue to hide some of the bare spots or some of the areas where the blocks are showing through. And it's just going to bring some extra gold tones here to the top of the mantle. Now I'm just going to tuck two of these white poinsettias. They're actually gonna be tucked around the room in some garlands and in our tree. So I wanna just bring everything together uh, with just this little hint of white poinsettias. I decided to move the sign below. I'll show you that in a little bit where I put it, but I definitely wanted to keep it just very classic um, up here with the churches and the candles and candle holders. So I definitely decided to go ahead and move the other church to the middle, being it has the white with the natural wood. And then I'm going to place another white church here on this side. This beautiful one came from Big Lots and it also lights up. below is where we have our electric fireplace and that's where I decided to put this cute joy sign. I'm going to drape this cute garland with the stars. I bought this from Hobby Lobby this year and I loved the gold tones that they're going to add here to our mantle. So I went get some batteries so that we can light up the church. And I think it's so beautiful, all lit up. And I love how they have this little elastic piece underneath so that you can just slide the battery compartment inside of it. How convenient is that? Now I'm gonna use another one of these leftover stems and take some of the green leaves off. And I'm gonna use a couple of little small pine cones here to decorate the bottoms of the churches. I went get one of these candlesticks. I love the gold tones to them and they have my favorite LED battery operated candles that I bought from um, Amazon and the candle holders. I think they came from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, but I love how they just look old and vintage. So I think they're gonna be a great addition up here. But before I add the second one, I wanna go ahead and finish all the little greenery and add the pine cones.
So for the finishing touches, I just wanted to add back some baskets that I had here out for the fall. And I'm going to put them back again and decorate them really simple for Christmas. So if you watch my previous videos, my husband came home with lots of free uh, home decor and holiday stuff from a friend at work. They were getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff, uh, him and his family. So we were blessed with lots and lots of goodies. And these beautiful baskets were uh, some of the free items. So I'm going to put them back here. So to bring some gold here at the bottom, I added this beautiful gold nativity scene that I bought from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. And then I'm just taking some green picks and placing them around the bottom of the manger scene. So I have saved these. If they fall off of wreaths or garlands, I just stick them in a bag so that I can reuse them to decorate with. And I think it'll make a pretty uh, scenery down here. So I am loving the simplicity down here, but I did decide to put three faux books next to this joy sign. I had bought this cute Santa Claus gold one from Home Goods this year, and I already had out the other two in our living room. I'm really loving the transformation of our mantle area with the beautiful white churches, hints of gold, and nativity scenes. Thanks for coming along as I decorate our fireplace and mantle for Christmas 2023. If you haven't already done so already, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It's absolutely free. Hit that notification bell and let me know in the comments below that you stopped by for a visit here at Little House on Metairie. So I will be doing a part two where we will finish decorating the rest of this living room and then I will do a full tree tutorial of how I will trim our Christmas tree in this room for this Christmas season. We have lots of other rooms to decorate together, including our front porch, which is always my favorite, especially this time of year. So come back and visit friends. Until next time, bye for now.